Hi, here's the simple cycloid setup, say that fast three times, that we had the last time. Um, it's got a 120 turntable, a 98 gear, and the fulcrum is just a fixed fulcrum point. One of the great things is that we can easily take our fulcrum and put it on a gear so it's moving around at the same time as the connecting rod is. But let me show you. Um, so we'll just put a piece of paper on. Taping it in four spots. We're going to take the fulcrum off that we had before. And we're going to put on a 100 gear just so that we can hold our place and drive a smaller gear. So I just put the one inch rod with the bearings, screw with the bearings on it. There we go. And all this is going to be doing is just as a transfer gear. What we're going to do now is we're going to put on the outside fulcrum slide, we're going to take a 40. Remember this turntable is 120, so if we have a 40 as our fulcrum, and I'm going to use a brass washer here, we should be seeing something with a, a triangular nature, a three-pointed thing. What that thing is, I don't know, we'll find out. So now, again, the drive rod is going to go around like that. We've made a gear train here, and we're going to put our screw for the fulcrum slide, again with a brass washer, right on here. Tighten it down, and put the fulcrum slide on. Now one thing that's important is if we go to use it now, the same setup we had before, we'll rapidly find out we've run out of room. We need to, because the connecting rod isn't long enough with the extra gear. So we have extending rods that we put on. And all we just do is take a, a one inch or a three quarter screw, tighten it down. So now we have a connecting rod that makes our longer. We're going to put this down. And we're going to put this down on our fulcrum slide. Click the thing, click the pen, and let's see what we've got going on. And you can see this guy, instead of having a fixed fulcrum, it's going around and around. Since we have a 98 gear, it'll never come to the same point. Stop it and see. Now, see this triangle forming here? And that's because of our, our 40 gear making uh, three, three passes with one pass of the 120 turntable. keep going and it'll fill in the pattern a little bit more but this gives us an idea of what it can happen what it can do when you have a moving fulcrum point instead of the 40 we could have used a 50 gear or a 60 or a 72 if we'd used a 60 we would have seen just two sides um, so anyway that's one of the cool things is that you can experiment with changing the size of the fulcrum as it moves around you can change the, the drive gear. So instead of having a 49, you could do a 45 or a 47. And that's it. Thank you so much.